Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Eras mod. Last time around, we were able to uh, capture Berlin, where the fighting, as uh, the main fighting of the sort of taking Berlin, had actually happened the previous video uh, at the bridge battle. So it was must mostly just clearing the way while capturing the town. And now it's under our control. Wonderful. Um, and also, yes. We also freed the Irish. Kinda. I did notice that Ireland is an absolute monarchy under Rory the First. They're feeble and destitute. Now, I have given them technologies... And I've given them quite a bit of money. Now, let's hope they're able to fix it. One of the problems was giving them all that technology is... Um, I mean, as soon as they fix their port, I'm sure they'll, they'll fix up nicely. It's a pretty big trading port. Um, one of the problems is just like what I tried to do with the Germans, the Prussians is when I gave them certain technologies, they became unhappy, as you can see here, with uh, the Irish. They've become quite unhappy. I also don't think that having an absolute monarch was probably the best way of instituting. Anyways, that's what happened last time around. What I want to do today is I want to focus in on Denmark. Now, I want to, as much as possible, complete this in one battle. So, I'm trying to avoid battle with this army, while Please. still be able to rather quickly move in and march within distance of um, fighting. Now, I think that once I get the movements for these ships, they should... Hopefully be able to make the trip down here, pick up the army, and then go directly here. Because I think that's the safest way of trying to avoid um, fighting two battles. And just fighting the one over here. So I will retreat to the bridge. We'll take the fleet down. We'll do a pickup. And then we'll go past this puny Swedish frigates, there's no way they're going to be able to stand against us. So we'll just smash through that and, I mean, a shit Danish ship here that's not going to stand against us either. And then I'll be able to land the army right here and we'll be able, since they've got troops outside, I'll be able to attack them, dragging the force inside the fort out and Bob's your uncle, we will... Um, be victorious. But since this might take a few turns, it could be that we are drawn into battle somewhere else. Uh, now though, I have tons of troops in this current like gap or the front line that we got going right through here. Um, so I don't, and I think that the Prussians have been rather passive. Otherwise, it could be that I would uh, rally the forces around Berlin and we would go after Seton and take that. And also, sort of in between all of this, I'm hoping that we'll be able to kick out the British once and for all out of Spain. And I can finally get um, Grouchy out of there and uh, join the rest of the armies on a more uh, fruitful campaign against the Prussians. But as we have no moves, I will enter now and hopefully the enemy will not screw up my plans immediately. Now I thought the Danes might be up to something. I didn't realize that their master duel, duelist, Karsten, Roar Karsten, decided to um, duel with my spy. Actually, this is a gentleman that is dueling my spy. 
And he's better at pistol and sword. I guess we'll um, go for pistol. Clearly, pistol was not the best choice of weapons. I should have taken sword. A hardly unli very unlikely situation. It'd probably fall on the sword as well. Shot himself with a pistol. Um, not great. Professional army, wonderful. We've got enemy raids, admiral available. My spy killed by this Danish master duelists. Uh, more ships. We got cuirassiers, more twelve pounders, howitzers, and more Saxons. I'm all, we're almost done building a small. German army. We've drawn all them together at Potsdam where we've got the uh, supply depot. So we've got three Saxon troops. We've got one Croat Voltageer. We've got two uh, Bavarians, two Oldenburg and then a four pounder and a six pounder. We're gonna get two units from Anhalt and two cavalry units from Anhalt as well. Uh, which brings us up to quite a sizable force. Now, uh, there was a few other things that happened here with the Danish as well. So, after the duel, the Danish, the Danish, Dan the Danish fleet left the um, blockade they had here to come north. They took a look at my fleet and then they were like, mm, nah, and then they went down again. They did post a smaller fleet to still cover the um, blockade, but it was small enough that the um, Mecklenburgian fleet actually broke through and then f f chased the fleet up here and sunk it. Um, this Danish army is holding its position, so I think it is clear to say that it would attack us if we would close in. Uh, therefore, we're going to continue with the option here um, to uh, bring this. Oh, great. Ro go on. Yes, sure. Go on uh, the uh, enemy side of the river. Not where I specifically set it up to, for you to be able to go through the other side. Um, and then we'll have to fight the Swedes. This Danish fleet, Scott. Really, it's got nothing on us. They've got uh, trade ships, a brig, um, some frigates. Biggest ship they've got is 80 guns. Actually, well, all my ships are almost 80 guns. And then we've got the um, carronade ships. We would make uh, the Danish into... Uh, there would be anything left. Oh, I couldn't find anything funny to say there. Um, the uh, British actually sallied forth out of the town to attack me. I decided not to fight them and instead pulled back so that I can uh, continue with my plan to have the rebels deal with it. I don't know what I'm going to do. The, yeah, I know what I'm going to do with these two four-pounders. They're going to go down to the rest of the four pounders here and then the National Guard militia will uh, march out to guard um, things lovely things did realize we've got a small arms factory here that needs to be built and stay here right so we're on our way of doing that the Germans didn't really move along um, here. And, and now I remember that we do have an army poised to actually invade and take uh, Scotland as well. Interesting. Ba barely any garrison at all. I guess it's all down south around London 
has now le given me the opportunity, perhaps, to seize. The Polish army is going to go on a roll here. And is going to uh, seize Scotland as well. They've got armed citizenry and then uh, they've got five regiments of Highland foot. Led by the 92nd. The Gay Gordons. The 92nd will advance. Right. Onwards we go. Fort battles are always difficult because the enemy decides to fight to the very end. I had to slaughter so many of those armed citizenry, but finally I was able to secure the center. And so, in so doing, forcing uh, the Scottish defenders to um, surrender. As we can see here, I lost 766. The enemy lost. All of the garrison, 2,400. But if we actually looked, uh, look at um, that is not actually right at all. 2,400 is not what I killed. Um, okay, so we can't really see, but I did not kill that many. I was able to the way I was able to force my way into this. I destroyed like two or three of the armed citizenry, and then I was able to maneuver my cavalry in by capturing a number of walls which I lost and then captured and lost and captured uh, but I was able to get the cavalry in and once the cavalry got in they could start hammering away at the enemy formations and they really killed more than what my infantry did uh, but none of that is um, really important because what we did was we liberated Scotland, and we forced all British troops out. They're not that far away, though. But now Scotland stands as its own nation, and they have a fort. 
So they should probably hold quite well. Right. Um, they're indifferent to us. No relations whatsoever. Um, we will. Okay, they get William the Third. Feeble and destitute, just like Ireland. Um, but I think they will come around. I will be giving them a lot of uh, different technologies and some starting money. Uh, but that's not the important bit right now. The important bit right now is that we have. Uh, we're slowly dismantling the United Kingdom's left. The United Kingdom's is now only England and Wales. And to be honest, does Wales even really count? Uh, <laughs> um, onwards, though, to another country. Talking about countries that don't count, onwards to Denmark. Right. We are one turn away from being able to... Uh, Leave our troops on the Danish main island and hopefully destroy them. So with that, let's go ahead and end turn. Very little transpired during the end turn, but I did realize that the British have in fact gone ahead and declared war on Ireland. So they are at war with the Irish which doesn't bode well for the Scots. Although, right now, Britain is actually at uh, the trading with the Scottish. Which could actually be good, because they didn't like them to begin with, and the Scots seems to like everyone, is there? Oh, they don't like Sicily, because there's Italian revolutionaries there. Probably it's got no connection to them. They like everyone in Europe. They like the Swiss a little bit less, but who doesn't? Um, I am going to keep the Polish army here for a while. Just so the Scots get a proper defense going. So their southern neighbors don't invade them. Once that's done. And I'll get to kick the British out of Pamplona. So Sp Spain is all to me. Then, at that point, I think we could tr probably go ahead and sign a peace treaty with the British. And those little shopkeepers can go about their own stupid business. Um, meanwhile, we are now poised to attack Denmark. Finally. Unfortunately, it looks as though I won't be able to make the trip in one go. Which is bad, because just in case the Danish and the Swedish fleet decide to attack me at the same time. A huge naval battle. I've already done... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide in this little cove right here. Wonderful. And then we'll do another jump, so I can jump directly. So I know at least my army will be safe. The Swedes did a naval exercise and landed troops in the south. Once I've taken the Danish capital, it's going to be important to block the strait here. So the Sweden doesn't cross. I also noted there's a Prussian navy around there. Not good. There's not a lot of troops around Setin. That could definitely be a target, as the there's not a lot of uh, Prussians there. The Prussians are around the banking house right here. They've one force down here. Obvious target next would be this, then. Seems like a good idea. And once the Danish are gone, all their stupid armies are gone from the continent, which will be great. Um, Mecklenburg and Hano the Hanoverians will hopefully go ahead and deal with Danes here. So that I do not end up in trouble with that. Or if I should make sure that they don't by sending one of my armies over to keep this area secure. Just in case. Um... Although the Danes haven't 
the thing is that what would worry me would be the Danish taking another territory so that I would not be able to destroy them in one go. But I'm sure after the battle there I could probably send enough to out to resolve that battle. Enough of that though. Let's go ahead and get going with this and uh, destroy the Danes. So, let's go ahead and enter. A milling machine. How wonderful. Got no time for that though. What I have time for is more German troops and ta -da! the uh, Spanish rebels attacked and brought the British low. They even killed one of their units. Wonderful. Um, with that we will also kill by landing in Denmark. They have been building up to our second force. That means there's two bloody stacks for me to fight. Not good. The Danish are bypassing the Mecklenburg force. Which I do not care about. Because they'll probably just go put them somewhere out here among the, Germ the other Prussians. And... Uh, why, does, why can I recruit Austrians? Don't I have a rap already somewhere? Or maybe I don't actually. Or do I? No. Well now I've got one. Hopefully we don't have another one. I think that's the one that I had multiple of. Also just quick care. My spy just walked through here. There's nothing down here. There's no armies here, there's no armies there. If it wasn't for the navy, I could have just run through uh, Rush Russians or everything. I don't know where they keep their forces. Um, well, since they're fighting the um, Kurland, that's probably there. Right. There is much more to be done, although I need to conduct this battle now. In between between here, but that's not one of my focuses. Maybe I can out resolve it actually. It's too close to be out resolved unfortunately. Um, but I should be able to uh, do this quickly. We will focus on the battle in Denmark. You know what? I changed my mind. I tried to squeeze too much into these videos and they become an hour long which this mine one still might be, but I think we'll f save the Danish one for its own video, just because there's quite a few Danish people. I guess I can call them people. Um, first foot ro Pontus Pilot's Bodyguard. Huh. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll keep that for its own, and uh, we'll deal with this final British force here. Um, the light troops moving up through the woods, the grenadiers on the right facing a single enemy. Got my 12 pounders here, I've got one six pounder system right here, and I'm pulling all of the uh, line infantry into uh, a single line that will advance on the enemy. As we can see they're um, kind of facing the Grenadiers. We are not doing that well against the um, enemy grenadiers even though we've got I've got four lines of grenadier firing at them I've still managed to lose like over 80 men while only taking out 60 even though I'm able to lay down so much more fire on them and now we've even got lights firing at them from the woods the enemy is really 
concentrating their troops around here should make an excellent target to fire at with the artillery I will advance this part already before these three regiments have uh, gotten into position now both of these have lost about um, what, 50 60 men they're down now a little bit do I have I do have light cavalry I'll send in the hussars to deal with them and then the dragoons will line up for a more thorough attack okay we've got um, dragoons coming through the woods even if here I am able to form square oh he's going for the other one both units will form square the line infantry will aid here even if like we've got three times as many men Okay, so we've got uh, another heavy cavalry dragoon going in, possibly making it difficult for my hussar unit as it takes out the uh, bodyguard of Pontius Pilate. I wonder how they managed to get that nickname. Alright, all troops will now advance on the British line. Oh, my SRs. Not only are they uh, cutting down this British regiment, they're chasing the dragoons away as well. But now infantry is close at hand. And we will withdraw. Let's see if I can organize my grenadiers something like this. Taking the high ground. The lights should drop their squares, continue up through the woods, line infantry coming through here, and line infantry coming through here. Alright, I'll form one of these into square to deter the 17th Dragoons. I don't think they're going to need much persuasion. Or at least what I hoped. Okay, Joshua will go into square instead to deal with them. There's there's a lot of enemy artillery fire. I don't know where the bloody hell did they put the howitzer. They put it in here somewhere. Oh, there it was. It's already destroyed. Um, but they've got tons of guns up here. They've got their six pounders. Another nine pounder and the six pounder. Another nine pounder. They only have one nine pounder. Oh, they attacked here. Right. Let's see if I now cannot organize my uh, grenadiers. The lights will move up. See about if they can start trading fire with the enemy a little bit. And then I want the um, fusiliers out onto the road. And since we outnumber the enemy here, we'll be able to swing up a little bit on their flank. Right, looks like the British are coming towards the woods. I'll order them to. Uh, make haste to take that position and then as they start trading fire with the British the British will be held in position as the Grenadiers will come in and sweep in what I think we'll do is these three Grenadiers can come through here and then Joshua will come up through here as um, he'll have to get quite close to get over this sort of bump that's here. And uh, we're starting to trade fire along the line. Advance a little bit more and you will come up on an angle there. 
these three currently have no target, but they will move up. Actually, that's... The lines will become too thick. I'll advance two and keep one in reserve. Let's hurry up and get these guys in position. Then the Dragoons and the Hussars will set up there to sweep in at the enemy from the back. Alright, looks good. These two just need to run into position rather quickly. Why is no one firing over here? God damn it. Alright. The British are now receiving good fire from all sides. Including the, and then artillery fire. As I'm going to order in my cavalry rather soon, I will be switching targets for my guns to, uh, oh, you don't reach. Since you don't reach, you will hit the cavalry as they move forward. Oh, one of the units up here broke. Time for the cavalry to go in. I think this unit on the side should form square as here is seemingly where all the enemy cavalry is heading. Alright, as that goes in, the grenadiers will advance. The lights can continue. You will now open up fire. The goons now sweeping the enemy away. No interest in going after the general, as that is horse guards. But I will go after the foot regiment in the center. Oh, the, the enemy is going for my center as well. Will form squares, it'll reduce the fire, friendly fire, for my own men. And it'll protect me as well. Might continue through here. As the British army is now disintegrating in front of us. We'll order everyone to advance. They're now kicking their um, general into gear. And I will order my dragoons to meet them. Alright, everyone forward. Everyone is now set to march forward towards the enemy. While I hopefully try and suppress their artillery with my own guns. Brunswick lances are sent away as well. I'm sure this regiment will retreat soon enough as well. Let's see. My uh, six pounder does not reach. It can bounce shots against the hill. Right, continue to follow. We got a little bit of trouble here. The fifth is holding out against my dragoons. But as infantry is coming up right behind, they're about to uh, break as well. And there goes the enemy cavalry. And we are now breaking through. Alright, time to hold fire with the guns as we're about to conduct a charge straight up to the guns. Hopefully, 
they have not prepared canister. They were in fact firing uh, artillery onto the unit back here. Round shot. So my cavalry was able to hit their lines. Pretty well. The Brunswick Alans are back. They didn't have enough the first time, I guess. And the entire army is on the move forward here. There's no way 31 Lance is going to make any difference. And if they try, I'll crush them. Let's try to avoid the spikes, shall we, gentlemen? We can probably break those without having to uh, get them with the cavalry. And there we go. The British in Spain are done for. Finally, I can put the S back in pain. Um, it's now Spain, after all. Here's the result. If you're interested in who killed what. Uh, it's the cavalry, one fusilier, and then Joshua's 57th. Um, they kill the most. We even got a battle, battle marker for it. And... Um, I will take control of this wonderful 
area. And the wind yards and what have you. Build out the infrastructure. We also need to deal now with the Spanish rebels. But they're out in uh, there. They're so broken down that, you know, they're not going to do anything. And uh, this force will be ready soon enough. I should um, actually take part of this force to go out and uh, destroy this little crap force that we've got out there. Wonderful! Now, I started off saying that I wanted to focus on Denmark, and we did land an army in Denmark. Uh, but instead, we we recaptured a territory in Spain and we freed the Scottish. So we did capture and recapture territory in this episode, even though it wasn't what I was looking for, but it's still something. Next time, though, we will be starting with the conquest of Denmark. I, one thing that I didn't think about was, of course, I will set up Denmark as a vassal. And once they're a vassal, the, the Swedes won't be able to march across because they'll have to declare war on Sweden first if they want to cross. So we're saved from the Swedish that way. It's, we're going to have to keep an eye on their navy if their navy goes out to try and drop off troops somewhere. Um, where we might end up, end up in trouble is when we actually take Seton and po Pomerania. Because Sweden actually held part of Pomerania at one point. So they could be coming down to uh, try and reclaim old glories. But for now, we are doing really well. Where I only actually need three more territories to be considered victorious. Which I will. So... Enough of this. I will be saying like I always say. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. Bye.